Hey there, it's Shayna, and in this video we're going to talk about some of my favorite Google Chrome extensions for virtual learning. But first, I want to give a huge shout out to Flexispot for sending me this amazing standing desk riser. Since I'm currently teaching virtually, I've been sitting at my desk all day, and I think most of us can agree that teaching while sitting down is super weird. Flexispot aims to provide an ergonomic workspace at an affordable price, and they've definitely helped improve my virtual teaching life. I'll make sure to drop a link in the video description so you can check it out. All right, now on to the Chrome extensions. If you're looking for a quick way to provide verbal feedback to students, Moat is your new best friend. Moat is a voice recording extension that works seamlessly in Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, and Google Classroom. Teachers can quickly and easily send voice comments to students using the native Google comment box. Simply highlight any text to make a comment as usual, then click the Moat icon that appears on the side of the comment box. What I love about Moat is that everything stays in the window, so you can record your voice comment right here, there's no need to navigate to another tab, and click Done when you're ready to send this comment off to students. They'll then be able to listen to your comment by clicking on the play icon if they have the extension, or if they don't, they'll just see a link that they click on and they'll be able to listen to your comment there. I also love how well Moat integrates with Google Classroom, so you can use Moat in the private comments section of an assignment, as well as on the actual assignment instructions themselves and on the Google Classroom stream. There's also a ton of other new really cool features, so if you use Google Tools, this is definitely a must-have extension. Next, we have Custom Cursor. Custom Cursor is a super fun Chrome extension that will temporarily replace your default cursor with one in a variety of colors and styles. Although this might seem like a random and superfluous tool, it's actually really helpful for teaching in an online environment. By default, mouse pointers are relatively small and nondescript, so swapping that out with something more noticeable can help students better track your movements during an online class or video. Next up is OneTab, which is a super useful Chrome extension, especially for those of us who regularly find ourselves with way too many tabs open. A single click on the OneTab icon will create a list of all open tabs, which makes them super easy to sort through. You can also share out a list of tabs, name tab groups so you can come back to them later, and restore all tabs at once at any point. All right, next up we have Bitmoji. Bitmoji may seem like another superfluous extension in the grand scheme of things, but adding a touch of personalization to your online space can actually have a lot of benefits for teachers and students. With the Bitmoji Chrome extension, it's just a simple drag and drop to add your Bitmoji onto your daily agenda slides or instructional materials. You can also use it to create a virtual Bitmoji classroom. I'll link my tutorial in the video description for you. And a couple cool tricks for using the Bitmoji search bar. If you're looking for a plain Bitmoji, type pose into the search bar, and that will give you a selection of Bitmoji without all of that extra stuff. And you can also create custom Bitmoji by typing any text you want into the search bar, and your Bitmoji with any text you want will appear. The Emoji Keyboard Chrome extension is another one of my favorites because it helps add visual interest and enhance readability to assignments created in Google Docs or posted on Google Classroom. As an example, I love using emojis in my Google Classroom topics, and I also use them in the directions of my Google Classroom assignments since Google Classroom currently doesn't allow rich text editing. Another place I use emojis is the Google Classroom comment bank. I have a video linked in the description where I talk a little bit more about this, but you can see here that emojis help call attention to different types of comments that I might leave for students. The Emoji Chrome extension gives you full access to the entire emoji library right from your browser bar. So any emoji you want, you just click on and it'll automatically copy to your clipboard where you can then paste it wherever you wanna paste it. Another Chrome extension that has been invaluable to me during virtual learning is Google Keep. I've actually been using Google Keep for a few years now, so I'll link some resources I've created in the video description for you. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I'm a big fan of using Google Keep for running checklists, and I've created a series of custom image headers for Google Keep as well. I also use it to save and label all of the things, and it's kind of like a digital junk drawer, but with 10 times the features and capabilities. The Google Keep Chrome extension is an absolute must if you use Google Keep, which you totally should because it's awesome. Lastly, there's Print Friendly and PDF. This is a great Chrome extension to use when you want to share a website or article with students without all of that extra clutter. 
Simply click the print friendly and PDF icon and it will automatically create a simplified PDF that you can save and share with students. You can also get rid of anything that the extension may have missed manually by just hovering your cursor over and clicking the trash icon. So that wraps up this video on some of my favorite Google Chrome extensions for virtual learning. Thanks again to FlexiSpot for helping me create a more dynamic virtual workspace. The desk riser came pretty much fully assembled and was super easy to set up. So if you're like me and find it super weird to teach from a chair, make sure to check out the link in the video description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.